Yo, um, this is Dupes, right? Yeah. Him, him in here or I'm across the street? Uh, he's over here in Studio 8. Him working? Yeah, he's working with you guys. Oh, so we in that room today? You're in A today. Michael is here? Yep. Oh, no, no. I have to get your setup and everything over here. All right. Michael All right. is across the street doing some last minute touch ups. All right. He's going to come over here. All right. I think Dupes. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, I had to change the tripod this morning. Why you had to change it? The one broke last night. It broke? Yeah. What? It was flimsy. Oh. I got, so I just got a real one now from Best Buy. My. I know this director, and then after they go to the director, they be like, "How much is you, how much your fee is?" Director's like, "Yo, nigga, I want ten sex." I'm like, nah, nigga, I can't do that. How about two? And like, nigga, it's like, nah, nigga, nah. <laughs> five at least. All right, all right, let's settle on four. <laughs> then they go to they go to like you know what I mean they just go to every other part whatever it is and they make this shit happen mm. within a budget. That's in essence that's what a music producer used to do back in the day. But when this whole like dudes making shit on like MPCs and well it wasn't even MPCs like it was just one dude making them doing everything. He was the band. He was the guitar player, he was the keyboard player, he was the drummer. And then they, they're like, yo. <laughs> they made a call for that. No, but, they didn't want to <laughs> but they, they're, like, they're like, yo, who did everything on this? And all of a sudden now, this dude that made this beat by himself, so that's how the term the producer just came to like the one person. But a lot of people get it fucked up and twisted, not because you make a beat means you're a producer. You could make a hot beat, sucks. but that doesn't make you a producer. You know what I'm saying? See. I can make beats, but I could also produce. I have, I have a bunch of stuff over there, actually. I just like two weeks now. I have a new Rich Thirty Two single. That's that's doing well right now. It's in the BBC playlist right now. We just had a record with Leanne La Havas on her album. Um, and like a few upcoming stuff, like all on like major labels and stuff like that. Um, in terms of the US, most of the US stuff I'm doing now is, is, uh, is going to come out next year. So like right now in Circle House, we're working with Michael Frenti this week um, for his album. Um, I did some stuff earlier this year for him. Uh, some of the stuff I don't know if I can mention it. I don't want to much of that. But, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of heavy duty work. When I did get my publishing deal, when I was younger first, I remember the guy from EMI did fly down to meet me. Mm -hmm. Come in the studio and like someone was like, so what do you use to make all this track? Cause I hear everything I'm gonna do. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, what do you use? Cause this thing that you're doing sounds crazy. Yeah. And I was like, this. I just I literally just <laughs> have an MPC 2000 and a Roland keyboard. That's it. And I was like, yes, but what else do you? Use? <laughs> I was like, this. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. But at that time, I never even know much more more things. Yeah. I just like. I like the thing them what I hear, and I get, get that sound from what I have. Yeah. I never know say, oh, people that use more things, mm -hmm. are just like, well, what, my figure out how to use it from me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, when them sign me, I'm buy real equipment after that. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all of my money go to. Yeah, can't wait. Alright, that's recording. I think so. Yeah.